I'm Warren. And I'm Carrie. And, and this, this is, is what's, what's new, new at the zoo. zoo. Thanks for having us at the zoo today, Carrie. Who do we have here? We have Eha. He's a blue and gold macaw. And he lives here at the zoo in our state of the art world of macaws habitat. I understand he's a pretty smart guy. He is a pretty smart guy. He loves to play peekaboo. Where's Eha? Peekaboo. Good. <laughs> So we have our curator of birds with us today, Lisa, and she's going to show us some more and we'll explore the world of macaws. Great, let's go. All right. Thanks for having us here at the World of Macaws today. Tell us uh, about the state of the art facility and how it came into fruition. Well, the macaws have always been a very important mm -hmm. part of the zoo. Mm -hmm. Since it, the zoo began in 1972, the mm -hmm. macaws have been integral. And the facility is wonderful because it centralizes mm -hmm. the uh, caretaking of the macaws. Everything's in one location. We have a central kitchen and then we can take care of all the macaws. And as you can see, mm -hmm. the visitors can visit the macaws without any barriers. Mm -hmm. And it makes it a really unique experience for our visitors. And they're really beautiful birds. They and are. Really smart too. They are very smart. They're highly intelligent. And that makes them complicated to take care of. Now, you mentioned that macaws have been part of the zoo's exhibit since uh, the 70s. Uh -huh. how, do you, uh, how do you take care of them and how do you participate in conservation efforts uh, for macaws in the wild? Well, macaws at zoos are, and all zoo animals actually, mm -hmm. zoos are an arc. So mm -hmm. uh, not only do these animals act as animal ambassadors for their mm -hmm. wild kin yeah. so that uh, people can learn about macaws and other animals mm -hmm. and learn to value them and protect them, uh, but they also have breeding programs mm -hmm. to help protect the wild population, and if need be in the future, we can always try to repopulate in the wild. I understand macaws can live for a long time. What's their typical lifespan, and how do you care for them during their life here at the zoo? So they can live a very long time, 60 years or even more in some cases. One of our macaws was here and was one of the first animals here at the zoo. Wow. He's a 1972 boy, so uh, if you do the math, he has uh, been here for a very long time. So because they do have long lifespans, mm -hmm. they have a very good diet. So they eat fruits and vegetables, some seeds and nuts, mm -hmm. and a pelleted diet that's made especially for parrots. Mm -hmm. So those things keep them healthy. The veterinary care that they receive keeps them healthy. Mm -hmm. And uh, also our training program. We do different types of husbandry training to keep them healthy um, so that they're not afraid when they go to the veterinarian mm -hmm. say and just the silly trick training that you may see during the show actually serves kind of an important feature here at the zoo because it does keep them mentally healthy i mm -hmm. think of it kind of as doing crosswords <laughs> it may not seem very productive but at the same time it does keep your mind active and that's always an important thing for any animal. Is there a bird here at the zoo that's a visitor favorite that everybody seems to respond Man to? Manduvi is one of our visitor favorites. She definitely is a very favorite. She loves to wave and say, yeah, she loves to wave at everybody. So she's <laughs> always a little favorite. And she's a star in the show. So she's a star in our bird show. So she's a little bit of a diva. Do you want to show them how big your wings are? So she's a hyacinth oh macaw. <laughs> she's <laughs> She only weighs about three pounds, but she's got a four foot wingspan. Wow. And she's got that really super long tail. She's nervous about you being so close. She's not used <laughs> to visitors on this side of the fence. So, but uh, she is a very big bird. And uh, so she is definitely one of our visitors' favorites. <laughs> she's like, I took care of that, didn't I? Yeah. Thanks for having us at the zoo today, Carrie. I learned so much about the world of macaws. If folks want to learn more about these beautiful birds, what's the best place for them to go? We have a lot of information on our website at cougarmountainzoo.org, and you'll find information about how to support the zoo, how to become a member, all of our programs, and a list of our daily activities. Sounds great. Well, thank you again, and we'll see you next time on What's, what's New at, at the, the Zoo. zoo.